was Miss Elliman's favorite piece of music. <laughs> I should have worn a nicer tie or something today. Or do you want to sit down this chair? Your arms on the floor. Oh, you sit there. Okay, this works. Is it recording now? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you guys, like side note, I've got the best script for this oh video. <laughs> no, you're gonna ruin the spoiler alert. Okay, just letting everyone know. When did you join DC and how long have you been here? Uh, I joined in year 10, so this is my fourth year. I joined in year 7. In year 7. In year 7. In 85 years. In year 7. Year 7. Year 7. Year 7. Year 7. Year 7. Seven years. Seven years. Six years. Six years. Six years. Year 7. Year 7. Year 7. This is my seventh year. No, 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 this is your sixth year. No, this is my seventh. I just did the math on my fingers. Yeah, 12. Yeah, 12. This is my seventh year. Two years. I joined last year. I joined last year as well. 2016. Two years. Last year, bro. Last year. Year 12. Year 12. Year 10. Year 8. And then left and then came back in year 10. Year 10. Four years. Been here since year 9, so this is my fifth year. Year 9. So Halfway through year 9. Year 9. Year 8. Year 6. 8 years ago. Year 5. Year 3. 10 years ago. Year 3, so this has been 11 years. Wow, what well, is it? Year 1. Thirteen years. Year one, so that's thirteen years. Reception, fourteen years. Preschool, so like three years old. Preschool, so fifteen years. What's your favorite memory of your time at DC? Prom and year twelve. Year twelve prom. That was good. On the Majlis team with Libby, Pauline, yourself, with Rakshana. Great memories of the Miss Summer Night's Dream with Harry and Jan and Connie and Nadia. Year six, we had a dance competition. Then, so I sit in the corner. I'm strategizing. Everyone gets eliminated. There's one left. I start moving myself in the middle, and then I start pulling out the biggest moves out there. And that was pretty much the win. One of my history students, who I won't name, actually pretended to be, I think, some sort of university professor in order to crack into the conference confidential family album of the Russian royal family. She got access to it for a set number of hours and then they found out she was downloading the pictures and then they kicked her out. And that, that was quite ninja-like, that was very impressive. And that has been a really big part of my life. In particular, I really enjoyed going to New York with the M1 group. It was an amazing experience and I will hold on and cherish it for a long time. I can't not mention the various harebrained schemes that Pranav and Aman come up with. I've enjoyed kind of trying to answer their questions, but also divert them from their unethical ideas in some cases. Going to Sri Lanka. I went there last year for the DOE, so uh, we stayed there for a week. We helped with certain charities and stuff. A great experience in general as well. Ibrahim's inexplicable need to suddenly go to the bathroom whenever algebraic derivation comes up, that springs to mind. More recently, the fact that I managed to get a whole group of students completely engrossed in a video of a washing machine. Uh, I also went to Sri Lanka two years ago for DUV. My silver award for that, I went to Munich, and I guess I won't forget that. I really enjoyed uh, working with the social committee and making the prom. No, Meeting the boys! The boys. Bro, prom last year, which is when I so met. Uh, yeah, prom. When you cook pasta at my place. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even a transformer cup. <laughs> That's not going in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is when Tariq got kicked out of his house class. And then Tariq went and cried. I didn't cry. <laughs> you cried. I got whooped. When I was arm wrestling Mr. McKenna. I really liked it when the whole six form nearly threw tomatoes at Dr. Summers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Connie as Hermia. Harry's role as the principal. Nafe's complete unwillingness to ever use any colour. Josh, seeing him come along and, and get things right. Mass yeah. and Sheikh were like, oh, let's go send Mario 100 roses. And she didn't even react. She's like, oh, what? Yeah, and we I got this guy in like your 13 to write like an Arabic, Arabic like a, a love note. And she was convinced. At the end of the day, she's like, uh, so I'm like your secret admirer. She's like, I can't believe you did that. Um, educating me about memes. Got you. Memes. I've got my pride and joy, Sally. And um, Rohit called Sally, generic. This was, this was many, many months ago now, bless him, I, I think forever it's just going to be kind of, he's going to be emotionally scarred for the rest of his life. Going to Times Square and just looking around at all the lights with all of my friends when we went on the history trip. So we spent like three months creating our own piece of drama and we were all so nervous but just like such a cool moment to be able to perform something that we created. Leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Rohan's final head boy speech. <laughs> There's a joy! I'm going to say the last show I did. Which was my summer stream, that was pretty cool. Uh, my friends who I love and my teachers who support me and inspire me. My totally the first time I went to Majlis, I asked Miss Fairley where Miss Fairley was and we had a really good 
chat and she was like, hey, why don't you be editor? I like the America trip. Oh, that was pretty good. American history. I was staying in school for like 24 hours preparing for Bob Hall. That was yeah. And then Just losing. Really <laughs> and then Not losing, but it was a good experience. Uh, up in the art block, I could see out through the window. All of a sudden, I saw Connie Morrison running across the rooftop of Dover College. Adam, Adam, Adam in that wet sock. Um, Adam in the, in the cardboard box, Adam in the pink towel. Yeah, too many memories, but lovely memories. Okay, while your teachers are watching, you know what we say. Sorry. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, I guess. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> thank you for your tutelage. I hope I haven't been too annoying. <laughs> Especially Mr. McKenna. <laughs> you only do it because I am passionate about your subjects. Just being great teachers and carrying me through my uh, GCSE and A levels. For all your help and support. Uh, Thanks for the support. Stuart. Thanks for the love. For inspiring me to become a crystal ball reader. For helping and supporting me and uh, helping me grow this feeling. Rog, Kerr and Henry. Thank Rog, you. Kerr, Mwah. We love you so much. Thank you for like making the experience in DC very enjoyable. Yeah. Thank you for helping us. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers lads. It's a good journey. Mr. McKenna, he was a good teacher. He is, he is a good teacher. He is, he is a good teacher. Mustangs suck. Like Brunez, what a legend, honestly. <laughs> I guess if I could say one thing, it would be, um... Ami! <laughs> for all you've done for us, I really do appreciate it. I love my teachers, fam. No, <laughs> shout out to Mr. Mir, the best teacher the school's ever had. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to have good teachers from year 12, year 13, so I can't thank them enough for all the work they've done for me. Um, what's something you want, Miss Murray? Muhammad Ali's complete lack of volume control. Dealing with Lucas's unexplained absences. The usual, like, the gossip and the drama, I think. Constant gossiping and chat, 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 chat through all my lessons. All those hard maths questions that some of them present to me on the spot. Reese Goodman Smith's endless pseudo illnesses. Definitely writing millions of late detention emails every single week. You're starting to get a little bit chatty. You know, I think you're ready to go. Fly the nest. Marking their essays, all of them, hundreds of them, seemingly every week. My, my year 13 students have been known to heckle me at times if I get things wrong on the board. To how hectic they can be on occasions. Gabriel and Beast, but also the girls, Connie and Megan. The occasional demand for refunds on school fees, mostly Zara. He was definitely the ringleader. One word you would use to describe this year's year 13? Oh! Persistent, because we made it through this A level course. Incredible. Most of you, some of you, incredible. Disappointing. <laughs> Oisterous. All uh, head boy applicants put it best when they said broken. Oh. You calling us broken? I don't want to answer that one. Chaos. I can't do it without swearing. Don't put that in. Charismatic. Confident. Stressful. Depressing. A special. Not fast enough. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. The boys. The boys. The boys. <laughs> the boys. <laughs> yeah. That's two words. Depressed. Stress, stress, yeah. Stressful. Talented. <laughs> Generic. Romantic. Hectic. Super stylish. Reformation. Reformation. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. We're just too outgoing. I think it was like, I think they're funny. A melange. Okay, a nice mixture. I'd say supportive. Incredibly ambitious. The first thought was unfortunate, but um, maybe don't put that in. <laughs> Fun. Like unique. Dysfunctional. <laughs> Idiots. Okay, we can't swear. <laughs> like some people literally have the brain of like, I don't even know who, because I'm not that smart to know, but then there's some people that are like, like so talented. Undescribable. Dysfunctional. Useless. Connected. Twats. PDA. <laughs> Disaster. No. Okay. Yeah. It's a French word for friendship. Passionate, motivated, dedicated. Sorry, that's three. <laughs> Passionate. Passionate. What will you miss most leaving Dover College? I have taught so many people in your year group. Harry and Connie and yourself, Jakob when he was here, Sanju. You've always been a part of Dover College as long as I've been here. So I think when you go, it will be strange, really strange. Shawarma Sundays in Mad, so Mashawi is the best shawarma. Everybody's characters and personalities. The happy faces, the humour and your energy towards everything. Your passion as well. You're a very passionate year group. Probably her. Yeah, probably her. <laughs> probably. <laughs> the boys. The boys. The boys. The boys. The boys. The boys. <laughs> these people. I'll miss, I'll miss, I'll miss these guys. I miss everyone here. Okay.
gossiping with my year 13 chemists. All that delicious cake that Austin's baked for us for Thursday period 5. I'm really going to miss that. It's been a pleasure to work with you guys. You guys have really supported each other to the max. The committees have all worked very well together. Also my history kids, the passion they've shown for the subject. That has been absolutely a joy to behold. The atmosphere is such a great place to grow and develop as a person. We honestly are cherished and like blessed. We've grown up in a very diverse culture. They're bubbly personalities. There's a lot of character in Year 13 and that will be missed. Yeah, Mr. Miri. Also Mr. Miri. Oh yeah, Mr. Miri. Energy, the banter and just sharing stories with each other. Zena. <laughs> I want to miss the talk show. This year my Year 13 students have been an essential part of my process for figuring out which films to watch and which video games to play. Uh, that's probably what I'll miss most. They were a reasonably good bunch and that makes for a, a decent atmosphere in the school and in the classroom. I guess I'll miss you because the current year 12s look so appalling. Staying together, I think that's yeah. created a nice environment for us. Yeah. The current year 12s look so appalling. Yeah, I, I feel like the comfort of having people that you know. Yeah. I think yes. some of the teachers are really yeah. nice just because they've been so supportive. They've basically become part of my family and I'm really going to miss them. Definitely the positive presence around campus. We're very grateful for everything you've done. Being able to go to school and like feeling like say they view the new and it's like wow someone actually does like think you have the potential. It's like being able to rap to people whenever you want to. Just having a support system. My friends, just everyone. Friends from year 12 that left. I miss my friends. <laughs> I think it's got to be the people we just like. There's so many different kinds of people, I suppose. I'd just say my friends. My friends. So no one makes it. Yeah. <laughs> my friends. You guys are actually pretty cool. I don't talk to a lot of you, but I'd say we're a pretty closely knit year. I'm not attached to this school as much as I'm attached to the people in it. The whole college is not a place, it is a people.
Well, we've survived, we've made it, well done on a fantastic two years. Good luck, first of all. Listen to all the advice we're given. Yeah, don't, don't do drugs. Yeah, don't eat yellow snow. Don't go mad in Freshers Week. This is now a time for transformation. Our first year of uni is... It's all going to be new, it's all going to be fun, it's all going to be exciting. Brilliant, it's nerve-wracking, it's upsetting. The most exciting stage. It might be the last three years of your life where you get to talk every day about the things that you love and the things that you enjoy. It's really hard work, but it's also really liberating and you really find out who you are and the sort of person you want to be. Be ready to take on those challenges. Give it everything and enjoy. Go out and enjoy it and absorb it for everything that it is. Be prepared to make a difference. At the same time, be wise and careful with the decisions that you make. Have no regrets, do everything you can to keep pursuing what you enjoy, not what you're expected to pursue. When things get tough, which they will, phone your family, speak to friends and get a good night's sleep. Everything's better after a good night's sleep. Speak quietly and carry a big stick and you will go far. Grass is not greener on the other side, guys. The grass is greener where you water it. Calculate how much each lecture or workshop, how much it's going to cost based on your tuition fee. It's a good motivator on those days when you're tempted to not go to lectures. The friends you make will stay with you for the rest of your life, so just enjoy it, guys. I hope you take away some cracking memories. I've, I've really enjoyed teaching Year 13 this year and in the previous years that I've taught you. That I can safely say that I would struggle to identify another year group that have made me smile or laugh more throughout the course of my lessons. I wish you the best of luck with all of your examinations and your future endeavours and it's been an honour to have been your head of year. Good luck everyone. I hope that you really make a difference wherever you go because the world is waiting for you. Be, be kind. Uh, always be kind. That's it. If you can follow that, you'll, you'll do well. Some of you will know what you want to do. Some of you won't know what you want to do. Everybody's life will change a number of times. Um, their careers will change, you know, your paths will change. And I think just stay true to yourself, follow your heart, and um, your heart doesn't normally get it wrong. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you for being really amazing. I wish everyone the best. You're all amazing, the Prefect team. Thank you for being part of my sixth form. It was it was awesome having you guys. Bye. Yeah, bye. 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 Good luck.